How to install Descendant X ROM based on Android 10 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro? Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Descendant X ROM based on Android 10 on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. As you can see, I do have the Redmi K20 Pro running MIUI 11.0.4.0 based on Android 10. What are the prerequisites for this video? The prerequisites for this video are you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have Torp Recovery installed. How do you do that? I have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video. Next thing, make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60%. Do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30%. Also, make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loops, then you'll have to do a format data from to up recovery, in which case you are going to lose all your pictures, videos, and anything important which you have on your device. Another thing you need to know is whether your device is encrypted or not. How do you find that out? Well, for MIUI, you can go into settings and then you'll go into password and security and Privacy, as you can see for encryption and credentials, it tells me that my phone is not encrypted, which means my phone is decrypted. Based on the fact whether your phone is encrypted or not, you'll have to flash an additional file called disable force encryption. So if your phone is decrypted or not encrypted, then you need to flash disable force encryption. And if your phone is encrypted, then you do not have to flash that file. All the files which we're going to use in this video are linked in the description of the video and these are the files which you need so you need disable force encryption and of course you need this only if your device is not encrypted or decrypted again i repeat you need this file if and only if your device is not encrypted or decrypted then you need the descendant x rom which is based on android 10 do note it comes with google apps Big 10 so you do not have to flash Google Apps explicitly. Then you need the vendor plus firmware zip file for your variant of the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. And it should be based on Android 10 because we are flashing an Android 10 ROM. How do you find out what variant of Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro you have? I have a separate video for that as well, which is linked in the description of this video. Next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings password and security and remove your password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done go back scroll down go into me account and remove your me account once that is done go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures well we're doing this because we're going from me UI to a custom ROM and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device. Another question which I get a lot is what are the steps if you're on a custom ROM? Well, if you're on a custom ROM, then just follow this video and skip the steps which are not applicable. For example, if you're on a custom ROM, you won't have to remove your me account because you won't have the option of removing it until and unless you are on a custom ROM which is based on me UI like Xiaomi EU or me room. Now once you have confirmed that all the accounts and security measures have been removed successfully next thing we need to do is we need to boot into to up recovery for that the first thing you need to do is turn off your device and once you've turned your device off you'll press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo once we have booted into to up recovery we'll go into wipe advanced wipe and select dalvik cache and data yes these are the only three partitions which we need to wipe you do not have to wipe system and vendor because those are updated by a process which is going to wipe them automatically once you've selected these three partitions swipe to wipe once the process has finished successfully click on the home button next we'll click on install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case you downloaded the files on your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i have transferred them from my computer so they are in the root directory first file which we need to flash is the vendor and firmware zip file so we'll select this file click on add more zips and then the next file which we need to flash is the descendant x 
rom select the file and then swipe to confirm flash once both the files are flashed successfully we'll click on the home button now if your device was not encrypted in that case we need to flash disable force encryption as you saw in my case my device was not encrypted or decrypted so i need to flash disable force encryption for that first thing we'll go into mount make sure that vendor is mounted in case it is not tap on the square beside it make sure it is checked click on the home button go into install and now you need to select the disable force encryption zip file and then swipe to confirm flash once disable force encryption file has flashed successfully make sure that it did patch an f stab so as you can see here it says patching f stab and it mentions the path in vendor slash etc this means that disable force encryption was installed successfully the next thing we need to do is we'll click on the home button and then we'll go into reboot and select system however if you run into any boot loops then you'll have to do a format data from to up recovery and while your phone is boot looping just press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo then you'll go into wipe format data type in yes click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard as i mentioned earlier format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device so make sure you have a backup of all those things for now we're going to skip that step select reboot and then select system and bam there it is we have the descendant x boot animation on our redmi k20 pro which means we are booting into descendant x rom based on android 10 first boot up will take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick and once you have booted into descendant x launcher launcher will ask for access to your photos media and files click on allow and now we can go into settings and then if i go into about phone and now if i click on the android version you will see that i am running android 10 and the rom in fact is descendant x i do have a separate video showing off the pretty cool features of this rom and before i forget we can also go into settings and then we'll go into security and as you can see encryption and credentials phone not encrypted which means the flashing of disabled force encryption was also successful and there it is peeps that is how you install descendant x rom based on android 10 on your edmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you